You want some? Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> So, um, me and Simone did a, a episode, a video, a little bit ago about uh, uh, how to survive the affair, those that's been through the affair. Now we want to do one, this is part two of that, we want to do one to those that have cheated and struggle with cheating. Um, you may or may not have cheated already, but you may struggle with with uh, uh, flirting or, um, or just having troubles being faithful right and so this one's dedicated to how do i as a married person stay faithful in a marriage mm-hmm. uh, we want to just hit you with, up with a few points and and one of the things that that uh is important to realize is that and i and this was an old person that told me this is that you know attractive don't stop being attractive right mm-hmm. so I'm always going to be attracted to the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to find some woman that is attractive. Even though you're beautiful, there's always going to be someone that entices me. Mm-hmm. You know. So how do I stay faithful and control that and be faithful to you? Mm-hmm. You know. So let's give the, let's give the folks a few tips. All right, I would say um, tip number one is being open and honest and keeping that uh, room for communication. And what I mean by that, just for example, let's say, you know, I'm at work or I'm at the grocery store. Um, I might call Tim up and say, babe, you know, I'm struggling a little bit or I see someone that's kind of attractive for me. But just um, being able to keep that door open that I, I can come to him and, um, and instead of him getting upset or, you know, judging me in any type of way, but just being understanding like, oh, babe, you know. I understand that, you know, just just so I can give me that room to be my friend and let me be able to communicate yeah, that piece yeah. with you. I mean, open and honest says that that I'm human. Right. I'm going to that I find other people attractive. Right. And different things. But I'm if, if you work with me, we can both stay faithful. Right. Right. And so right. you do what I need you to do. I'm going right. to be open. This is what I'm attracted to. Okay. If you can do that for me and then vice versa. Right. And I, I remember one story I just wanted to share with everybody that you had came to me. and You told me one day, um, you was like, babe, you know, um, I need us to have more sex. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you was like, I need us to have more sex. You know, I'm, it's not that I want to cheat on you, but I'm feeling a certain type of way and I'm feeling lustful. But he was so honest with me. I mean, it turned me on. And at least for that week, I could put, you know, pick my game up a little bit, you know, and I really and as we get that. older. You know, my sex drive goes up and down. Your sex drive goes up and down. So there may, right. may be times where, you know, um, you may be wanting something that I that I just don't feel like doing. I mean, it's important to communicate that stuff. Right. And don't right. try to hide it in. Don't try to be secret. And if you're attracted to somebody, why keep it a secret? You right. know, what are you trying to hide it for? Let's just be open and honest. You mm-hmm. know, if somebody's flirting with you, uh, somebody's flirting with me, I mean, that's something that we could talk about. We ain't got to keep that secret. All right. right. So number two. Um, if you if you if you're willing if you don't stand for anything if you don't stand for nothing you'll fall for anything right, right? and the reason why I say that is because number two you got to remind yourself who you are right. right it has to mean something to be married right? right that that this is something that we don't do you know as as the the um, father and husband of my household I'm saying the Campbell stand for this this is what it means to be a Campbell right. We don't do this. We do do this. Uh, and, and I teach that to my children. And I live that. And so when it comes to being faithful, I say, listen, the Campbell men don't cheat. Right? I teach my son that, that we don't cheat. You know? Uh, the, the world may say that, that that's cool, that you can do this and this and that. But I'm standing on that. And because I set that standard for myself, you know, then I have a benchmark to say that, that I'm not willing to fall to a certain level. Right. I got to keep reminding myself of that. You know, in different things, and I got to train my mind to think like that. But then it just becomes a part of me. You only do what you are, right? So if I'm, if that's not me, I'm not going to do it. That's not me. So when I, when I'm tempted, I know what's going to come out of me. Right. That right. standard comes out of me. Right. That says that Campbell men do not cheat. Right. We're, we remain faithful, and we take care of our household. We keep our household down, and we make sure that our household remains a focus for our everyday life. Right. I like that. Yeah. And <laughs> I would like to That's say right. number three, uh, closed doors. And what I mean by closed doors is knowing like um, 
Like, if, if I know I have a problem with, you know, I don't know, you know, if I have a problem, I want to do everything I can to, like, try to stay away from certain things. You know, like, if I if I know that I could be tempted, be, let's say one week Tim's just been working a lot and I'm afraid that, you know, he hasn't been showing enough attention to me for that week. So, I'm not going to go out to no club on Friday, you know, because I'm not going to get nothing but attention. You know, it's the wrong type of attention. So, I had to learn how to close certain doors um, and stay away from certain temptations, you know, just to help me be able to focus, you know, yeah. and being aware of that. And if I know that that there's an open door, if someone is attracted to me, if there's another female attracted to me, and she's constantly flirting with me, I know how to how to uh, close that door. I know how to keep that door open, mm -hmm. so that you know maybe I I flirt back a little, maybe I'm doing things like that. Um, but you got to learn how to close those doors. If you're not going, to, if you're going to remain faithful. You got to say, listen, we can't talk on the phone mm -hmm. or, hey, I'm not comfortable with you. Keep flirting with me. That, that stuff has to stop or I, I'm not going to be your buddy buddy um, because I'm attracted to you and I know that you're attracted to me. So I know what this could turn into. We're not going to spend time with each other because I know what it could lead to. Right. And, so you got to close that right. door. And then something so simple um, like it's going to lunch every day or going right. to the movies with a friend you know you never even looked at that person like that but things yeah. happen you know look at the progression i mean all right so we went out to lunch and then we went out to lunch again and then we started talking about each other's problems and i started sharing some things that i'm going through and she mm -hmm. said oh well you know uh you don't deserve that and then i felt good and then me and my wife got into an argument and that just leads and it snowballs <laughs> so close that door before it gets <laughs> down that road that's exactly yeah, that's right too. <laughs> And, and, then, you know, and, then, and then four is um, avoiding doors, yeah, you know, and that's yeah. something we kind of touched on. Yeah. So, so one, well, let's, let's expound on that because you can close a door, but avoid door means that, that that's a door that's been closed that you don't need to reopen. Right. Like right. don't, don't like Simone said, if, if you know your temptation is, is the uh, club, is at the club, then don't go there. Avoid that. Go. If, if you know you're weak in a certain area. Don't tempt yourself. Don't go right, around that right, area. Right. Uh, and um, and then and then the fifth one is is that if you know that you have issues that continually become issues with challenges. with and, or challenges with uh, that you're facing around being faithful, um, then get counseling. Get some help. You know, talk to your pastor. Uh, talk to a professional counselor or talk to to some expert about resources. Uh, tools that you can use to not do those things. You know, one of the things that I did uh, when I was losing weight was I got a physical trainer. And that physical trainer said that that uh, when I feel like eating when I shouldn't eat, that I got to, that, yeah, I avoid it, but he also gave me a tool to say, you got to replace it with something. Right. You know, replace it with these good foods or replace it with this and that. Right. And that's what a counselor does. It, it, he gives you tips tricks he or she gives you tips tricks on what you can do right. uh to replace some of the bad habits that you got right. that's exactly what i was gonna say you, you got me yeah. Yeah, yeah just make sure that you replace it because we think we could put something down and keep going and it might go good for a while maybe a couple of weeks but if you do not feel that bad habit in with something good you'll pick that habit back up eventually yeah. so please and, and seeing a counselor is good. It's not um, always a bad thing. It's just, even if it's just for a temporary, you know? Um, but I'm just saying, explore all your options. Do what it takes to be with your spouse and to make sure, you know, that you guys are happy together. Right. So we'll see you on the next post.